Hey there everybody, this is Franco and I have something new to show you. This is the brand new Acorn Rev4 board. So Centroid just start selling this board off their website. It's the latest and greatest. It's the Rev4 version of the Acorn. And uh, the previous versions were good. I really like them. I'm running the, the previous versions of the Acorn board in my mill and in my lathe. They're working great. but the, the people at Centroid are always trying to make things better, and uh, they, they took the opportunity to make some improvements to the Acorn board. So, so let's talk about that. So first, what do you get? You still get a phenomenal, a phenomenal deal. So I'll let you go to their website. You can check out their prices. But uh, long story short, for $299, you get the Acorn board, you get the relay module and ribbon cable, you get a dual voltage power supply, which is really nice. You get a really good high quality ethernet cable. You get the uh, 110 volt power lead. Then they give you a few little cables to hook the power supply to the uh, Acorn board. You also, for $299, get the free version of the uh, Centroid software, which for some people, the free version is going to be powerful enough to do everything that you need to do. If you need more powerful software, uh, for an, an additional $139, you can either purchase the Mill Pro software or you can purchase the Lathe Pro software. So let's say you buy the $299 package and you also upgrade the software. Your, your total is like $438. You're still well under $500 for a total CNC control system. You have really great hardware, really good software, and you're getting all that for... Uh, well under $500, $438. So that's hard to beat. All right, so let's let's talk about the board. Uh, I have a few bullet points here. So what's different? There are green and red LED indicator lights to give you the status of all the inputs and the outputs. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And they, as I will attempt to show you here without frying anything, you can see what's happening. They change color as the status of the inputs and outputs change. So that is really nice. And you know, you've always had the diagnostic screen in the software to, uh, let's see it here, we'll go to input one, right? You can see input one at the diagnostic software always showed you this on the screen now you can see it physically on the board. So this is really cool when you're, you know, building your enclosure or troubleshooting things. Now you, you even have more feedback. So that is a really, really nice feature. You also have uh, the same indicator LEDs on the drive enable outputs. Once again, it's, it's just giving you really nice feedback while you're, uh, you know, working on your system, you can visually see what it's doing. It's going to help you troubleshoot things. And I'll, I'll tell you, that's the, the simplicity and ease of use has always been, the to me, one of the, the best things about the Centroid system. They really seem like they try to do everything they can to make the software and the hardware work really well together and make the whole process of installing and using the product uh, easy. So these are just more of these like quality of life convenience type of things to help, you know, continue to make life easy for the end user, for the DIY guy who's building his system. What else did they do? Uh, they added some noise filtering to the uh, analog output. So according to my notes, they added a Zener diode to help filter some noise on the analog output. They also added some noise filtering to the encoder port. Uh, personally, I've never had an issue with noise on either one of these two things on my previous version of the boards, but hey, it's an improvement, so take it. Uh, relay board. Yeah, so now you have eight, eight outputs on an external relay board. You just literally, it's plug and play. You plug this little ribbon cable into the acorn, and yeah, now you have eight relays that you can work with. And, it's a lot easier to wire up peripherals when you're working with relays. Makes uh, it just, you know, you have the normally open, normally closed side of the uh, terminals there. It's just, it's a really nice feature. And 
let's just say you do something wrong, you short something out, you fry a relay. Um, all you have to do now is replace this relay board. You don't have to go get yourself a brand new acorn board. You just, you get one of these relatively inexpensive relay boards, plug it in and you're good to go. So that is a really, really nice feature. So you have eight, eight outputs on that relay board. Uh, let's see. Oh, they uh, even though they've upgraded the board, the mounting holes are in the same spot. So if you want to upgrade your old acorn board to one of these new boards, it should mount up in your enclosure with the same uh, hole pattern, the same standoffs. You will need to find a place to mount this in there, but you know it's small. That shouldn't be too hard. And what else? They added a, a second heartbeat LED. So this is a prototype board. Mine doesn't have it, but the heartbeat here that we all look for, there's another LED here somewhere on the board that's uh, going to make that even easier for you to see. So really nice stuff. I'm really, I've always been impressed with the quality of these boards from Centroid. And uh, you have the same high-speed CNC control that you've always had. This is, this is a really high-speed board. It's capable of generating... Uh, really high quality pulse trains at you know high frequencies you still have the same high quality pulse generation that you know has always been available but they, they've just further enhanced the, uh, the user experience on the board so that's really cool so i wrote a little program here i'm just going to start this and just to sim just to give you a little demo of what's going on so hopefully see here there we go that makes it a little easier to see and let's test some inputs so what I did this program as I trigger through the inputs it changes the speed of the outputs That's kind of cool. It's kind of a, a silly little frivolous program, but you get the idea of how that's working. And uh, I'll post the code to these programs in the description of this video. And I won't get you know too deep into it, but basically what I'm doing in this program is I'm, I'm reading the uh, status of inputs and using that to change the dwell between uh, you know all these outputs being turned off and on. That's really all this is doing. So this this is this program's just a loop that just keeps running, 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 and uh, it's just constantly looking at the status of the inputs. So this is pretty cool. And um, you know most people you're going to be able to use the standard wiring diagrams to get your system going, but there's some folks out there that want to do you know, more sophisticated things. So if you want to read inputs and outputs, write your own custom M codes and all that kind of stuff, you can certainly do that. And, um, you know, you, you can read, read all of this using the macro variables, um, you know, that you can, you know, access in your, your G code programming. Matter of fact, if I slow it down, you can sort of see on the screen what's flashing. So, you know, incidentally, that's, you know, another nice feature of the Acorn product. Uh, if you're used to commercial CNC machines, well, the Acorn is a commercial grade product where a lot of the other DIY CNC systems are, are not. So, you know, with the Centroid, you have macro variable programming. You know, that's something that's not available in a lot of DIY uh, systems. So cool stuff. All right. Well, 
this video is long enough. Thanks for watching, and I'll throw some information in the description. And um, yeah, if uh, if you've been waiting to try Centroid, you know, don't wait any longer. This this is a great time to try their product. It's it's always been great, but it's you know it's never been better than it is now. So uh, give them a shot, at least investigate it, and put it on your list because. They're doing a great job over there at Centroid. All right, thanks a lot.